Okay, in this video I'd like to quickly show you how to derive uh, an expression for destructive interference in a Michelson interferometer. In a previous video I proved how to get the optical path difference for a thin film interference. And we, we, we found that there was 2 n sub f, where n sub f, n sub f is the, the refractive index of your final, of your, we'll say, your, your um, thin film, times d, times the cosine of theta t, where d was the the depth of your thin film and theta t is the angle at the angle of incidence inside your inside your uh, inside your, your medium. Now, because during a Michelson interferometer you're going to get a you're going to get a pi phase shift, okay? And the pi phase shift, the pi phase shift comes from the following: it comes from the fact that you get one external and one internal reflection. Alright? So as a result we only get one pi phase shift because we're getting we're only getting one of those, okay? So as a result the the condition for constructive interference constructive interference in a uh, the, con the the condition for constructive interference um, is 2 times m times pi is equal to delta all right, and we should know at this stage from our study of optics that delta is also equal to the optical path difference times the wave number plus or minus pi. All right, so what we're going to do now is plug those values and use our formula for the optical path difference. So we're going to get that m lambda zero is equal to two times n sub f times d cos theta. Therefore, m lambda f is equal to two d cos theta. This is for constructive interference. And therefore, we need to increase this by half a wavelength, or so we are, uh, or half a, yeah, half a wavelength. So m plus a half times lambda f is equal to 2d cos theta, and that gives you destructive interference. Whoa! Sorry, you couldn't see that. That's just a small bit of manipulation, nothing too mad. Remember, increase the increase the wavelength, or the, well, excuse me, the, the length of the wave's gone through by one half in order to get destructive or constructive interference. All right, that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.